Full Mean Group or PMG estimation is a method of estimating autoregressive distributed lag models in large end panel settings with individual effects. Developed by Pesaran, Shin and Smith in 1999, PMG estimators take the co-integration form of a simple ARDL model and adapt it for a panel setting by allowing the intercepts, short-run coefficients and co-integrating terms to differ across cross-sections. As an example of the pool mean group estimator, we follow the application given in Pesaran, Shin and Smith estimating consumption functions for OECD countries in the years 1962 to 1993. We have this data in an Excel file with each variable placed in a single column. We can open this Excel file in eViews simply by dragging the file onto the eViews desktop. eViews automatically detects the panel nature of the data and sets up the panel work file appropriately. We can see we have annual data for 24 cross sections. The series cons contains real capita per private consumption for each country. Inf contains a measure of inflation and inc contains per capita real disposable income. To estimate a PMG model, we click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and select PMG ARDL from the method drop-down. Pesaran, Shin and Smith estimate a fixed ARDL111 model with the natural log of cons as the dependent variable and the logs of inflation and income as the two dynamic regressors, with a constant as a static regressor. We specify this model by entering the dependent variable and dynamic regressors in the dynamic specification box. We check the fixed button to turn off automatic selection and set the number of lags for both the dependent variable and the regressors to 1. Clicking OK produces the estimation results. The top part of the estimation output shows summary information about the estimation, including the name of the dependent variable, the date and time of the estimation, the number of observations included, and the specification of the estimation. The middle part of the results shows both the long run and short run coefficient estimates for the model. We can see that in the long run equation each of the regressors are significant. Of course the PMG estimator allows the short run coefficients to vary across cross sections and so for convenience eViews just displays the average short run results. To view cross section specific short run results we can click on view cross section short run coefficients. We can select a cross-section to jump to just by clicking it on the left. Clicking the Stats button brings us back to the main results. We can save these results into a table with the Freeze button. Although Pesaran, Shin and Smith used a fixed single lag, we can use eViews to determine the best lag structure. We'll click the Estimate button to bring up the estimation options again and then select the Automatic Selection button and change the maximum number of lags for both the dependent variable and the regressors to 4. We can see that EVU selected an ARDL211 model, adding a further lag on the dependent variable over our previous estimation. The addition of the lag does not appear to change the results a great deal, with the coefficient of log of income barely changing at all. Clicking on View Model Selection Summary Criteria Graph lets us see how preferred the 211 model is over the other evaluated models. Of particular note is that the top three models all use a single lag of the regressors.